Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. This is episode 47 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to light a light. Now, those of you that watch most of my videos might know that I recently did a Photoshop Quick Tips where I showed how to light a light. And I received one comment and one question over and over. And the question was, can you do that in Lightroom? And the answer is yes, you can. And the comment was, why would you want to do that in Photoshop? I could do that in Lightroom. Well, to comment on that comment, I have to say you have to realize a lot of people don't use Lightroom. They use some other photo editing software and then they use Photoshop to supplement that photo editing software or, believe it or not, all they use is Photoshop. So that's why I received that question from someone asking me how to do it in Photoshop. Now, to answer that other question, can you do it in Lightroom? I mentioned yes, you can. I'm going to show you how. And it is arguably easier to do in Lightroom. All you have to do, we're going to actually do the same exact image as you can see here. And all you have to do is get a brush. And what we want to do is turn exposure up. It's really the only uh, slider you have to uh, adjust unless you want to change the color. And we'll do that in a minute. We want feathering all the way up. And we want flow and density all the way up in this auto mask checkbox. Make sure that is not checked. Then what you want to do is you want to get a brush. You can see how we have that circle inside of a circle with the brush. That's the feathering. We want that inner circle to be bigger than the light. So I'm going to light up this globe here. And I want it, I'm just going to estimate about that big. So right there, and all I got to do is center it and click once. And you lit the light bulb. And now you can go back to the exposure control and you could make it brighter or dimmer if you so choose. You also could go to the temperature slider and you could change the temperature of the light. So you can make it warmer or cooler. And if you really feel adventurous, you could go down here where it says color and you could click this little rectangle and you could actually pick a color if you want and change the color of the light. Now I'll right now we'll just leave it white. So what you could do is you could go across, you could get a new brush for each light you want to do, but in these case in this case because those light globes are all similar, I'm just going to use the same brush. I'm just going to change the size for the lights that are towards the back like that. And then I have my lit lights, and just as simple as that. So you could do it very simply in Lightroom. I do think maybe the Photoshop one is slightly more realistic, but that's just an opinion. I'm not really 100% sure if that's true. But either way, if you don't use Photoshop, uh, you can do this in Lightroom, and it works very, very well. So that's it for episode 47. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. I really, truly appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.